And I'm Noah. And today we're going to play the truth or lie game. Okay, truth or lie. A female donkey is called a Jenny. I think it's a lie. I, I think it's a lie. I think it's a lie. It's a truth. Really? A female really? donkey is called a Jenny. I did not know that. I did not know I learned I something not new today. A Manx cat has no tail. Truth or lie? Truth. I think it's a lie because I've seen a Manx cat. A lie. Truth. A lie. Truth. Okay, well, it's true. A Manx cat yeah. has no tail. Really? An Arabian camel has two humps. Two. Do you think, think it's true or I've false? I've seen it before. A true or a lie? I truth. think it's true. Two humps? Good. No. It what? has one hump, an Arabian camel. I've so far got everything wrong. And <laughs> I got one one, and I did not know that. Okay, this one is a movie one. Truth or lie? Bambi was Walt Disney's first full-length cartoon. Truth or lie? Truth. That's a hard one. It's a truth. I think it's false because it's an false. Anastasia. I think that was before. False. Truth. You think it's false, false or false. true? False. True. False. false. It is true. Okay, it is a lie. Yeah. The first one yes. was Snow White. Really? I thought it was yeah. Anastasia. I no. have one point. Are you thinking of Fantasia? Point. Truth or a lie? Do you think the word sushi means raw fish? No. True. Do you think it's true? Well, it's actually false. Because the, the word sushi actually means sour rice. Yeah, yeah, I, I won. Thanks, Thanks for joining us, us game. Bye. Bye. Hi kids, welcome back to Kids Church. My name is Hope. And I'm Jerry. And in today's episode, we're gonna be seeing some crazy pranks. Our new friend Outback Mac is gonna take it away. And we're gonna see what happens when you take a cookie out of Kermit's cookie jar. And today we're going to be learning about a trickster, a guy that was so good at lying and deceiving. Do you know that he was so good, he managed to trick his brother into selling him his birthright over a bowl of soup? Talking about tricks, we played a trick at home. We put a whoopee cushion in our dad's seat while he was watching TV. I don't think it was a whoopee cushion that made the sound though. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that funny? Yeah. It's a reminder that we don't need to be so serious all the time. Speaking about tricks, Sam's got a trick up his sleeve that he will be pulling on Russia. Let's check it out. Hey Dad, I'm going to make you a coffee. Oh, thanks mate, that'd be awesome. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to make my dad a nice coffee. And instead of putting sugar in, I'm going to put salt in. So let's get to it. Now, I'm supposed to put sugar in this kind of sugar, white sugar, but no, 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 it's my dad. So I'm gonna put salt in. Oh, for me? Yeah. Oh, thank you, bud. That's awesome. That's very thoughtful. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, totally got me, bud. Hey, guys. So today's Bible story is all about me, Rebecca. Long ago, I couldn't have children. So my husband Isaac prayed to the Lord and the Lord answered his prayers. I had twin boys, Esau and Jacob. They wrestled within me and God told me that I had two nations living within me. Imagine that, 
two nations, not just one, but two. The boys grew up. Esau became a skillful hunter and Jacob was a quiet lad. Esau was my husband Isaac's favorite and Jacob was mine. One day Jacob was cooking some stew. Esau came in from the country. He was very, very hungry. He said to Jacob, quick, give me some stew. Jacob said, first sell me the rights that belong to you as the oldest child. Esau said, what good are those rights to me anyway? So Esau sold his rights for some bread and stew. So Esau didn't even care about his rights. He sold it for a bowl of stew. Never sell your dreams for a bowl of stew. I hear someone's been cooking some soup. Let's go have a look at that. Bye kids. Hi guys, my name is Bonnie. And my name is Ayla. And look what just arrived at our house. Ah. A fresh veggie box, should we check it out? in the loop, all around a bowl of soup, Jacob he tricked Esau on a hunch. Esau came in from the field, hungry so the soup appealed, he made a promise to his bro and then he gobbled up. Jacob tricked Esau yet again, takes his blessing with great gain, Esau's mad he had to run away. Works for what he thinks is fair Rachel with her lovely hair But now the poor old trickster Jacob He's about to be tricked Abby! Hey! What are you doing? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to see a really cool trick? Yes! Ready? <gasps> Do you want to know how I did it? Yeah. Okay, let me show you. So you put your thumb out. Yeah. And then you put the toothpick on your hand like that. Yeah. Okay. And then you take some tape oop, <laughs> and you stick it to your thumb like that. That's so cool. Okay. And then if you hold your hand out like that, no one can see it. But then if you go like that, hold oh. your hand. There we go. And, and then bring your hand back out and then back in. <laughs> and then that's back so out, cool. and then the kid. It might take some practice, but you'll get there. Oh, that's so cool. There you go. Now be careful for the sharp edges, kids. Thank you so much for teaching me. It was so much fun. You're welcome. Bye, Bye kids. Hello, I'm Archie, and today I'm here with our incredible senior pastor, Pastor Bev. Tell us what happened when Jacob saw the ladder. Oh my goodness, that was such an amazing yeah, event that happened in his life. I mean, incredible. He was on the run. He was running away from his brother. He was running away from his family. And he was in a really bad place. But when he saw the ladder, 
He had an encounter with God that changed his life completely, turned him all the way around. Pretty cool dream. It is. Pastor Bev, did you have any dreams when you were a little girl? Oh, I had a few, but some of them come to pass and some of them don't. And I think we all experience that in our lives, don't we? So have you had some dreams, Archie? Yes, I have quite a few. Have you? Yeah. Have any of them come to pass yet? Well, one of them has. And what's that? Well, when Can I you was share? A, yeah, when I was a little boy, I used to love trains a lot. And so I always prayed to God when I was at night. I always wanted to, because in the shop there was a little train and I always wanted it. And one day for Christmas, I got it. Hey, that's, that's a, a very, very cool dream. Yeah. It is. When I was little, I really wanted to do some horse riding. And then I ended up being able to do some horse riding, some competitive stuff down in the South Island, which is where your granddad's from. Mm, so, true. it is, isn't it? Yes. Yes. So I did some competitive riding and that was just such a dream to come true. Mm. So I think every little girl wants to ride horses, doesn't she? Yeah. Yeah. So I think maybe we need some for your sisters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have ro I've ride, ridden a horse before. Anyways, do you know what my favourite part of the story was? Which is your favourite? It's pick? when Jay, it's when God blessed Jacob. Oh. He did, he blessed him so much and he had 12 sons from that blessing. Yes. He really did, yeah. Can you think of a blessing in your life? Um, yes, I can. Yeah. But like, you know how there's a drought going on at the moment? Yes. Well, we were struggling with water and we, we really needed a blessing of water. We needed water a lot and God gave us that water. Oh, that is such a cool answer to prayer. It yeah. really is. I love where you're living at the moment. It's such a great yeah, place. It is. Out in the country, but we are very dependent on water, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, Mum mm. doesn't like it. <laughs> doesn't she? No. <laughs> She'll get used to it. Yeah, she will. Yeah, well, the country brings vermin with it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what else about Jacob did you enjoy? Well, I quite like the bit when he tried to run away. Yeah. yeah. You can't run away from God. <laughs> no, you can't run away from God. He was running from his family, but you can't run, run away, away from, from God. God. No. Yeah. And he had such an amazing encounter with God. Yeah. You know, and I mean, it was such an amazing open heaven that um, him and God had this conversation and then he just was so overwhelmed that he said, surely this is the gate of heaven, yeah. the house of God, which is yeah. just an amazing Thing to see that God, His church, and heaven, and being in His church creates such an open heaven that God hears our prayers. And He does. He yeah. does. Jacob couldn't get away from Him. God could see Him no matter where He went. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Pastor Bib. I hope you enjoyed hearing about Jacob's dreams. Bye. Wow, kids, we've learned a lot about lying and tricks today, haven't we? Now, Jacob was a big trickster, but because God touched his life, he had his whole life turned around. Isn't that amazing? And God can do that for you as well. All you need to do is ask Jesus to come into your life. Just say, Dear Jesus, I love you and I want you to come into my life. Please forgive me of my sins and I want to live for you. God will hear that prayer and come into your life and you'll be a changed person like Jacob was. Do you know there's ways that you can build your faith? Things like reading your Bible, praying, and going to a great church. And we'd love to help you with any of those things. You can always email us here and we'd love to help you out. Well, we haven't finished yet. We've still got amazing things planned. And I'm going to head over now to hear from Kermit and his old friend Julian. It's going to be fun. We'll see you soon. What's that on your face, Julian? Nothing. Well, it doesn't look like nothing. It's a nothing. But it looks like a something. A something? Well, it's certainly not a nothing. You are right. It is a nothing. No, I, I said it's... Oh, never mind, Julian. Yes. It's just that I have this jar and it's full of cookies. Delicious chocolate chip cookies. But somebody has stolen a cookie from the cookie jar. Mm, I mean... Oh, no! I'm just looking to find out who it was. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Was who, it you? Who, me? Yes, you. Couldn't be. Then who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Julian, I'm sure that's cookie crumb on your face. Well, it wasn't me because because I am Julian and uh, I was, um, I, I, well, I don't like cookies. You don't like cookies? Oh, well, I mean, I, I like them, but, uh, but I wasn't here. 
But I told you to look after the cookies, and you said that you would stay here. Well, yes, well, I, then I was here, but someone else took the cookie. Well, then who took the cookie? Well, it was a person who is a king, king, king Smoolian, and uh, he, he came on a horse, trot, trot, and was super, super hungry, and he took a cookie for a horse, but the horse didn't like it, so he gave it um, to the fish and... Julian, this doesn't sound like a real story. It is. You know that when we try to trick others and lie, Julian, you always get found out. Okay. Okay. I did it. I ate it. I knew it was a crumb. Oh, crumbs. The truth may be tough to share and even hurt in the moment. And you may even get into trouble. But Julian, honesty is always the best policy. It makes you feel so much better in your heart telling the truth. It does? Yes. And to be honest, if you had just asked me, I would have offered you a cookie. You would have? Yes, of course. You are my friend. Oh, Kami, you would share your cookies with me? Of course. Oh, so can I have one of your cookies now? Oh, Julian. Oh, hello, lovelies. Constable Colin Cranium here, trapping them bad thoughts and issuing them a ticket on God's word. Oh, hold on a second. I'm just enjoying a wonderful snack here. Just pistachio nuts. You want to get into the shell and eat the sweet nut inside. Anyway, so, hey, you might find sometimes you've done something that you don't want anyone to know about, right? And uh, maybe you've done something wrong or something bad that could get you in trouble or, or get you punished. What can often happen is that you get a thought that comes into your head that tells you to lie about it, to cover it up, okay? Now, if that thought comes into your head, you need to issue it a ticket of God's word. See, Colossians 3 verse 9 in the Bible says that we are not to lie to one another, but instead put away our old self and all of its habits. You see, me, I'm a constable, right? I'm a cop. And I, I didn't used to be, you know, a, a good person that I am now. I used to be a bit of a trickster. I used to lie all the time. But see, now I'm a police officer. I'm an honest man. And that's what can happen to you as well. So if you ever get that thought, make sure you issue it a ticket of God's word, okay? And know to put away your old self and trust in Jesus. And as he comes into your life, he gives you a new self. And you can become a new creation in him. So what to remember? Always be truthful and honest, okay? If you ever do anything bad, make sure you be truthful about it and don't lie. Hey, Constable Collar loves you, kids, and uh, we'll see you next time. Hi, it's Aria, and once again, we're doing online church at home. But we still get your messages. Let's see what this one says. Hi Kids Church, I'm messaging because the other day my mum told me that I wasn't allowed to watch this scary show on YouTube. But when she went into the kitchen to make dinner, I secretly did. That's not good. After dinner, she asked me if I had watched it and I told her that I didn't. I feel so bad and what's worse is now I'm really scared at night because it was actually really scary. But I can't tell her, as she'll be really mad at me. What should I do? Thanks, at ScaredyCat38. Well, God says that we should never lie and to always tell the truth. So I think you should tell her what you did. I'm sure she'll forgive you. And plus, she'll help to make you not scared. Just try and remember to always tell the truth. Bye. In today's episode, we learnt about Jacob and how we need to be truthful, holding fast to our dreams, not selling them for a bowl of soup or tricking our way through life. God has a good plan for our lives and if we listen to Him, He will guide our path. Thanks for watching.
people all 